Today I'm going to be talking about OCD. So there are a couple different types of OCD. Um, and the kind I have is called dermatillomania, which basically means that I pick at my skin obsessively. Like if, if I have like a scab, I'm, I'm going to have to pick at it. I can't really help it. Um, but kind of how I was diagnosed with it, um, it took a while after like I actually started like picking up my face to actually get a diagnosis, but I remember um, when I was little at night, I used to like pick up my face and there was like this one particular spot on my nose that I used to pick on a lot and if you ask my friends from when I was younger, um, they can tell you that I ended up having um, a red dot scar kind of thing on my nose until about fourth grade when it finally faded. But um, this was kind of one of the things that if I if I have like some sort of illness or especially mental stuff, um, my mom doesn't really tell me about it. Like I'll just sort of be like, "Hey, I think I have this thing," and she'll be like, "Oh yeah, you do." And I'm kind of like, "Wait, what?" <laughs> but um, so. This was kind of bad because I also have pretty, pretty terrible acne, um, so I tend to like pop my zits and stuff like that a lot more than an, an average person would. Or if there's like, like I said, if I have a scab, I'm gonna pick at it. I can't really help it. Um, so when I, like, ever since I, I've picked at my face, I've had to wear gloves to bed. Usually they fall off in the middle of the night and also like I can just, you know, take them off. It's not that hard. But um, I'm kind of weaning myself off of that habit because like they get lost so easily it's not even funny. But this one's like I don't really have a particularly good story for this one like I do for ADHD or depression just because it's not really it hasn't really impaired me as much, but like the other symptoms of having OCD is like I have to shower every night. Um, I have like some very particular routines that I have to do, like especially involving sleep and stuff like that. Um, but like other than that, it hasn't really affected me as much. Like some people's OCD is worse, and I don't have it too terrible. But um, I've definitely been bullied for having, you know, like scabs all over my face like I remember in about maybe fifth or sixth grade there was a kid who kept on asking me if I had chicken pox which was really hurtful and it's something that I've kind of held on to for a really long time so but um like it's just it's not really something I can help and if somebody does comment on my appearance like it doesn't really bother me any anymore but like for the people out there who don't have OCD or acne or anything like that, like, it's so unfair. Just don't- why are you even staring at people in the first place? Like, that's creepy. Don't do that. That's weird. Um, so please keep in mind that some people don't have control over their appearance. Um, like, I don't know why you wouldn't have that in mind in the first place. But, like, it's really- it's really a very true thing. So, yeah. I feel like I fought all my life for this This one part, this one third, I've always missed No, just don't let it go I started the fight, 